वेलकम बैक दिस वीक वी कॉट अप विद सोनिया खुराना चीफ ऑपरेटिंग ऑफिसर एंड उन्नी राधा कृष्णन सी ओ डिजिटास इंडिया टूडे इज मार्केटिंग लैंडस्केप इज वेरी नॉइजी इट इज हार्ड टू स्टे अहेड ऑफ कस्टमर्स चेंजिंग प्रेफरेंसेस फॉर एंगेजमेंट एंड इफ यू कैन कैच अ कस्टमर्स अटेंशन हाउ डू यू प्रोवाइड समथिंग डिफरेंट दैट विल मेक देम वॉन्ट टू एंगेज विद एंड बाय फ्रॉम यू सो वॉट आर सम ऑफ द की चैलेंजेस फेस्ड बाय दीज डिजिटल मार्केटिंग लीडर्स टूडे एंड वॉट इज द स्ट्रेटेजिक रोड मैप फॉर मार्केटर्स टू बूज देयर ब्रांड्स परफॉर्मेंस इन ट्वेंटी वी आर फाइंडिंग दिस फ्रॉम सोनिया एंड and uni listen in uni sonia welcome to cnbc tv 18 thank you uni let's begin this conversation with you what are some of the challenges uh, including the data problems that digital marketers are struggling with today yeah so if you see uh, digital has expanded so widely even from, from a consumer's perspective every aspect of now if their life touches uh, digital and that would mean it's an opportunity for marketers uh, yeah. from a, from a every aspect right so the whole canvas for a cmo is now like really expanded early it was just a brand management now it's um, media itself has become siloed uh, so much there are different formats in different verticals yeah. what you can do with digital from a customer experience is sort of uh, expanded there are disciplines like crm loyalty a whole lot of uh, experience is now sort of transformed to digital and that comes with its own uh, problems so one very obvious thing is that there is so much of uh, data out there the challenge with data is that with so much of data trying to get insights out of that like you get mm-hmm. so much of information but how do you sort of extract the right kind of insight so that's mm-hmm. a huge uh, challenge for marketers okay and having said that you know because the canvas has expanded what are really marketers asking for in terms of solutions actually a whole lot right from taking off from data what is um, the data strategy ought to be for the future what is the 1p data that they can collect what is the infrastructure that can support it um so that's one end of it the other that they are seeking is because when you start unboxing digital there are so many different aspects um so how does it all come together right um in in conversations that uh, onni and i have had with cmos the problem that seems to crop up uh, a lot of times is they've got different partners that they are working with and it's up to their team uh, and them to sort of bring it all together sometimes they come and say you know it's just difficult sort of connecting all of these various points uh, and that's what sort of sub- keeps them up at night as well the other thing is sort of preparing for the future there's so much new technology ai has yeah. now hit us yes. big time yes. what does it mean for us right mm. metaverse back in the day now we can say that mm. yeah what did it mean for marketers so you know that's always there and uh, i think one thing never goes out of fashion is uh, creativity and what is the road map since you mentioned ai uh, sonia what is the road map for ai driven solutions in the coming days um i don't know <laughs> that's a very honest answer i honestly don't know it's evolving there's so much experimentation that's happening that it's hard to say hand on heart saying this is the direction that it's going to take we've been hearing both positive and negative things and you know even when talking to clients we are saying let us prep a little bit we are doing experiments uh, at home here to say what are the possibilities before we can confidently say that client a this is the way that ai can help you yeah and how how ac- according to you unique can uh, you know clients navigate this plethora of ai related generative ai related solutions that are there on you know yeah, for, so, right now so actually if you look at um, ai has been in in a way has been used uh, mm-hmm. by marketers but if you look at a, a whole lot of campaign optimization uh you know uh, which is very very dependent on data so to that extent some bit of ai like google's many of the media optimization still sort of runs on uh, ai right hmm. but this whole generative ai is something uh, new now because yeah. it's sort of dependent on language learning models and things like that correct but at this point of time all we can say is that we let just have to as marketers and even agency partners to keep our eyes and ears open to probably do the kind of experiment because we've been doing bit of experiments internally but not for the outside because there are a lot of um, you know ip issues because the kind of because it's all creating from what is already there right experiments is what you know mostly we have seen with metaverse with uh, generative ai with ai is something that we have seen 
brands commonly do like over the past um, couple of months almost a year now uh, sonia my next question to you is what is the strategic uh, road map because we are also speaking uh, right at the beginning of the new financial year what what according to you should be the strategic road map for brands to boost their performance especially on digital in this year most definitely i think uh, continued focus on uh, first party data hmm um the second is all brands right now are operating in a platform world right they are competing and present on the likes of amazon and flipkart etc to be able to uh, drive commerce on them is a combination of art and science and it keeps us hmm. and them on their toes so that hmm. is a constantly evolving line item in the strategic road map hmm. um and third i i, I think uh, it, it really will be again i'm going to lean on creativity and how to mm. engage in the best possible way with their audience um, that's going to be absolutely key and to add another <laughs> fourth one you know when we talk about marketing mm. we only talk about consumer facing marketing or customer facing marketing but there's a whole sort of um, sales engine Hmm. that is key to delivering the demand that marketing creates and it's so connected at the hip um that um from a marketer's point of view hmm. we are seeing now that it all marketers are now focusing on what um transformation can happen in channel hmm. for example hmm. right or what transformation can happen in the customer journeys beyond just you know hmm. communications hmm. or media what are some of the problems unique to our country hmm. on digital which you know like don't happen otherwise globally according to you okay so this is probably a bit of hypothesis and maybe backed by data one is the most obvious 22 different languages hmm. uh, so much of um, uh, dialects like for instance you know that there is this ott called stage hmm. which is a which is not even a language based it's a it's a dialect based which mean here they have shows on haryanvi they have shows on um, what over that uh, bhojpuri not even bhojpuri the different different you know dialects uh, within uh, uh, what the maithili and what some of those yeah. languages so they actually have shows on that hmm. and they have paying customers hmm. there is a person who is an atm security guy who is willing to pay to see a show in haryanvi right hmm. when it becomes uh, you know from a consumer point of view it is good and uh, you know wider choice and wider spread it becomes very difficult for um, from a brand perspective to throw up, to create content like we probably see this far often from south where the front page of uh, you know the print media or even digital the just anglicized version of the hindi yeah. right and that's probably doesn't appeal to those uh, audiences so from india perspective language will be a, is 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 a interesting challenge language uh, and and reach and reach reach also hmm. um because data is not very well organized or data signals are not that many as compared to uh, some of the western countries so it's a sometimes it's a hit and miss Hmm. you try 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 until you get to the right audience through digital media but they you know it takes a while yeah sure thank you so much thanks for sharing these insights with us and thanks for joining us on cnbc tv thank, thank you thank you so you. much with that it's a wrap on story about this week you can catch all of our content on facebook twitter and youtube thanks for watching we will be back same time next week see you soon